So Shalom, all praise is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekhar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the men we learned this truth from. Peace salutation to you faithful Akims, pushing this word out in all truth and all sincerity across the four corners of the earth. All right, and um, you know, this is another post camp uh, lesson that we about to go into. I'm here with the brother uh, Yashalom. Yashalom. All right, I'm the brother Micah Allah from the New York camp, and um, yeah, we're just gonna go into some uh, some scriptures. You know, we just finished up camp, and um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go into the fact that uh, what's been going on with this whole vocab Malone situation. We see brothers, you know, doing lessons and doing shows about, you know. Uh, this guy, uh, Vocab Malone, man, and this guy, man, you know, he's just, what you, I, I believe he's an agent, or he could be just a, you know, basically, uh, basically like a pest, like it known to a pest, man, you know? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we don't really like to focus our point on, 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 you know, him, but the thing is, we gotta defend the gospel. Yeah. That's the whole thing. We, we gotta we gotta be defenders of of the scriptures of the gospel, all right? Because we're we're sick of that guy. That guy, you know, he's just you know he's he's not gonna get it. He's, I wish we believe he's a heathen anyway in the spirit, or either he can be an Israelite. Either way, you know, the Lord's gonna destroy him, and heavy judgment is coming on that dude, man. He just don't know it. He thinks that. You know, uh, he's coming up against brothers, but he's really coming up against Yahweh Hashem at the end of the day. You know, and the Lord is gonna destroy that dude. So, um, Baba Kashan, can you um, you could bring out um, uh, Second Corinthians chapter four, and um, start at verse three. Uh, this is Second Corinthians chapter four and verse three. It says. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Right. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to those that are lost. All right? And that's why you got certain individuals, they just can't get it. Because this gospel, all right, this this truth, the doctrine of Yahweh Shem Shai wasn't given on to them. All right? Real quick, Romans 11 and 7. Yeah, this is the book of Romans, chapter 11. Verse 7 it says, What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the and the rest were blinded. Right, the elect have obtained this truth. Alright? But the rest, the rest, two-thirds of our people and the majority of this world, they have been blinded. They have been blinded to this truth. You know, but really the Lord is, is speaking about uh his people, okay, his people being blinded. Because the heathens, these heathens, they can't receive salvation. But for you Israelites, all right, you know, the only the elect out of you are gonna receive this this uh this understanding, this true understanding of the of the scriptures, man. The yeah. deep dark sayings. All right. That's why you got Vocab Malone talking about Hades. Hades is a place where uh the souls the souls <laughs> uh what is it purgatory yeah. before they before they get judged by the heavenly father where does that where is that mentioned in the bible man mm -hmm. all right because we know that hell is basically a condition all right or or, or the grave all right show yeah. off you know yeah. going into the, the the that's where you know uh you know you you know you, that's the grave and then you got hell being an actual condition being played out on earth mm -hmm. right now this is the, the our hell. This is the, you know, the Israelites, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. This is our hell. Yep. All right, and this is Esau's heaven. Yeah. All right. So, hell is a condition that when you uh, receive your judgment, when you go into the spirit, the spirit world. All right. You come back down in in uh, in a new body, and you play out your judgment on the earth, man. That's why you got people that they come back blind, they come back, um, you know, uh, they can't walk, they're paraplegic, they're, you know, um, something. They have some type of ailment.
because that's their hell. That's the hell that the Most High has put upon them. You know, when well, you see a guy where he, he has no limbs, you know, mm -hmm. he's just there. He's just, you know, or, or a person that gets, you know, um, you know, you ask why, man, why would the Most High do that? Because guess what? That's judgment, man. So they're living in their hell. They're living in that condition. And, and you can see, man, you can see when certain certain individuals, they lose their legs, they lose. You can see their spirit is broken, you know? So that's that's a that's a condition that they're in. They're in hell condition, man. They're in a hell state, yeah. you know? And that's where, um, you know, looking up words comes into play, in which the majority of people out there, they don't be doing that, you know? A lot, you know, a lot of people don't actually know how to study mm -hmm. or put precepts together or actually understand these scriptures. You know, that, that mystery of how to actually break down the Bible and teach the Bible has only been given unto the elect of Israel, right? That's why it said, you know, Israel have not obtained that which you seek it for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Mm -hmm. The Lord also said in Amos 3 verse 7, surely the Lord will do nothing while he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So really only the, the, the prophets of Israel can break down these scriptures, man. Guys like Volcan Malone, he's not of our ilk. Lord willing, we be those men, all right? Beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone. Guys like Volcan Malone, like the, the brother was bringing out, you know, that, that, that guy there, he's just a, he's a pawn in, you know, in this chess game, if you will, that you have watched now, Shai is playing here on the earth. And then more so, you know, he's likely an agent working for the, you know, the upper echelon of Esau, Edom, yeah. to try and disrupt this prophecy, you know, to try and upset prophecy, so to speak, in which he can't do. You know, you, you can't upset the prophecies of Yahweh Barsh Nah Shai, man. Everything's going to play out according to how, how it's been written, you know. Right. Get um, Acts. I want to get something real quick. I want to get something real quick. This is Daniel 12, verse 10. Uh -huh. It says, <clears throat> Many shall be purified and made white. Mm -hmm. Now, the many that's being purified and made white right now is the elect of Israel, right? They're being made pure through this truth. And they, they were made pure, really, from the beginning, from the foundations of the earth. Because Yahweh Bashan Shai sanctified them with this truth. Mm -hmm. That's why you read about the elect when you go to Ephesians 1 verse 4. Those that had this wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding, and the faith in Yahweh Bashan Shai from the foundations of the earth. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, meaning tested, and we're also coming to that time where the Lord is going to bring that hour of temptation which shall, which shall come upon all the earth to try them, right, that dwell upon the earth mm -hmm. and that, that test is going to come through what? The implantable microchip, the mark of the beast, okay? It says, in which the elect, they're going to overcome. They're going to overcome that test because they have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man, which is the spirit of prophecy, in which that's what we're doing, man. We prophesy week in, week out. We do these different lessons these different shows we study you know see how Bashma Shah is gonna have our back in that day because we've kept his 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 the, the word of his patience. patience there you go mm -hmm. we kept the word of his patience we've steadily suffered in this wicked society so when all hell breaks loose the Lord's gonna have our back it says but the wicked shall do wickedly now the wicked is who Esau Edom all right Malachi 1 verse 4 tells you that and a guy like um, Volcan Malone, he's a part of that ilk. He's 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 the wicked man. Yeah. You know, he's an Edomite. There's no two ways about it. He's an Edomite. I mean, certain brothers, you know, certain of our apostles might speculate in him being um, an Israelite. Well, he 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 might he might he might be a Jake. He might. But he might. the thing is, like, he doesn't have no fear of the Heavenly Father. He don't have no fear of of of, of the Most High. And the thing is, only only the wicked would you know what I'm saying? Because because you know. Hey, with Jake, if if, you, if it's to the point where it's like, you know, if, if somebody can't get it, then you can't get it. That's that's simple as that. You just can't get it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But this guy, he want to constantly, constantly, you know what I'm saying? Keep going back and forth. Yeah. You know. But um, you know, hey, like the script, like the scripture says, man, if this thing be of naught, mm -hmm. I mean, if this thing be of men, it shall come to naught. Yeah. You know. Matter of fact, bring bring that real quick. Hold on, bro. Let oh, me you still got out. a little more? All right, cut, now cut, it cut. says, now speaking about the wicked, right? So the wicked, you've got wicked, the wicked, you've got Esau, Eden being the wicked, and then you have the wicked amongst our people. Right. So re regardless whether he's an Israelite or not, mm -hmm. yeah. all right, he's a part of that ilk that's going to yeah. be destroyed <laughs> for coming right. up against his truth, man. It says, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So the elect of Israel are going to have this understanding, the full breakdown right. of these scriptures. They're going to understand concept like hell. 
like what you was bringing out earlier. Are they gonna understand it? What was that you wanted? Um, Acts real quick. Acts right. the fifth chapter, because this? he thinks that uh, around the thirty ninth verse. All right. He thinks because of what he's doing, yeah. you know, as far as trying to disrupt this word from going out or trying to, you know, come against and try to debunk this whole, uh, you know, what we believe in or, or, or what the so-called one West is, all right, what he, he likes to bring out that the one West is, that's all, you know, that what we're saying is it's, it's not the truth, all right, right, right. But, but guess what, you know, you believe in Christianity or whatever, that plantation Christianity been going on for, for centuries, man, mm -hmm. all right, but yet, you know, you still have it where people are, are, it's still the same old thing. It's not, you know what I'm saying? And and the thing is, we see prophecies coming to pass, man. We see in that, you know, um, what's been written in the, in the, in the Holy Bible. All right. And this, in this time, in this day and age, all right, we're the only ones. Okay. Through the, through, through the power spirit of the Habashim, our shy star and what our apostles and our elders, we're the only ones doing exactly what, is written in this yeah, book, man. Yeah. All right, who else is doing the things that uh, would of the elect will be doing? Yeah. All right, as far as prophesying on the highways and byways. Yeah. All right, you talk about the twelve tri the twelve tribes chart and and how you know that you know it, it is all made up or whatever. But but guess what? That's prophecy, man. Yeah. All right, according to Ezekiel the thirty seven chapter, man, that's prophecy coming to pass, man. Mm -hmm. You know, here it is. He's trying to debunk the things that you know uh, with you know. About this whole Israelite, uh, uh, Hebrew Israelite thing is about, but you know, it's it, it, man, it's all spiritual, man. It's all spiritual, man, and that's why guys like him, he can't get it. Yeah, let me bring, bring this out. This yeah. is Acts five and verse thirty-nine. Uh -huh. Well, I'll start from verse thirty-eight. It says, "And now I say unto you, refrain from these men, uh -huh. and let them alone." For if this counsel of or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Right. So this was during the time of um the apostles, man, and uh you had you had the Pharisee um uh Gamaliel basically telling the other Pharisees, man, if if you know basically if this this uh work or this uh this ministry, this ministry, is, like what we're doing right now, is right. a ministry. Is if is if it's of men of their own vain opinion. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? It's gonna come to naught. Yeah. But you see, no matter how much you got men like Great Mills, I mean, uh, uh, vocab Malone, all yeah. right, and uh, these apologetic uh, Christians that they believe that you know this is some made up thing, that this is a cult, that this is a you know a. Uh, just something that we just come out every Saturday and do, you know. No, this is ordained by the Heavenly Father. Right. All right. right. This ain't nothing of men. This ain't. This ain't just okay. We, you, you know, you just, you just got you just got a uh, certain black and so-called black and Hispanic men, angry men, just come up and meet up every week, and we just, you know, let our, our frustration about so-called white men. No, this is the Lord has. Uh, has called us into this ministry, man. Yeah. You know, to 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 do this will, to do the will of of of, of, of our Lord, man. Yeah. You know. Hey, hey, it's actually prophecy. You know. Yeah. Going to Malachi four verse five, the Lord said He was gonna mm -hmm. send forth Elijah before what day? Before the coming and dreadful day of the mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. All right. That's what the Lord said He was going to do. Now you had um, Abba Bivens, right, which right. we believe to be Elijah the prophet, pursuing to that scripture of Malachi four verse five. Right. And he started in Harlem. Bro, this whole thing is like grown all the way out to Australia. Yeah. It's out there in um, Europe now. It's out there in um, Africa. That's right. So that shows what it's only growing. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's, it's growing more and more. Just like that mustard seed exactly. that Yahweh Shai spoke about, man. Exactly. And, and and that's a beautiful point you made, yeah. man. Because, you know, to show to show you that this is not of men. Yeah, exactly. This is not of men. These Every man, every individual, all right, of the hopeful elect, once they seen the apostles and the elders come out on, on, on the highways and byways and, and started putting videos on the YouTube, you know, it, it compelled other men, mm -hmm. all right, to, to also do the same as well, man. Yeah. And that's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. You know, we didn't, you know, the apostles, the apostles didn't fly out to these different parts of the world and, you know, it was just through the spirit, man. 
that when brothers heard it, it was like, yeah, that's this is the truth. Let me get this real quick. This is yeah. Isaiah 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, in which that's what the Lord done to yeah. our, unto our people, adversity, why? Because we went off worshiping false gods and not keeping the laws of Yahweh Bashmah Shai. Therefore, he punished us using our main enemy, Esau Edom, mm -hmm. right? The, the bread of adversity going into our captivity, our uh, our nationality being stolen from us, from right. our enemy, right. our land being stolen us from our enemy, Esau Edom, right. taking our land out there in the land of Israel and over here in North America. It says, and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. A lot of us brothers, that's a part of this truth, we saw our, you know, we saw our teachers either out, out there on the street corners or on the internet. In our case, well, in my case, I saw, you know, the, the apostles on YouTube and then I saw them on, on the streets, 34th and 7th. It says, verse 21, And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. Mm -hmm. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, you know, and that's exactly what we've done, man. We've walked in the way of truth. We've walked in the way of Yahweh Bashma Shai, man. Now we've turned back to our nationality. Now we have these scriptures, and we're doing what the book is. We're doing what the book said that the elect would be doing in That's the right. last days, man. That's right. Lord willing, we be those men. That's right, man. And 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 listen, the scriptures tell you in, in Matthew twenty-four, right, mm -hmm. that basically when this truth yes. of the gospel of the kingdom be preached all throughout the four corners of the earth, yeah. all around the world. Then shall the end come, all right? Proving again that what you Christians are talking about, you know, your apologetic Christians, all right? Hey, man, that's not the true gospel. Right, that's not the right, true right. word of the Lord, man, um, all right? Being brought out, okay? Because there's no salvation in Jesus Christ, man, yeah. all right? True salvation is going to come through Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man, yeah. all right? That's the true good news, the true gospel that... You know we're bringing out man yeah and we're that we're the only ones that are really teaching and preaching the the real i'm going to use this word just for the sake of edification the real god so to speak we're speaking of, and we're teaching about the yeah. god of who abraham isaac and jacob that's and right. their descendants yeah, that's right no other religion is actually doing that mm -hmm. christianity ain't doing that no. islam sure ain't doing that mm -hmm. and all these other wayward religions yeah. but we here all right the israelites that's what we're doing, man. We're dealing with the true, the true power, Yahweh yeah. and His Son Yahweh Shai, right. and their descendants. That's right. According to Bible prophecy, man, who are the twelve tribes of Israel? Right, you got these guys out there in the land of Israel right now. They're claiming to be the Jews. Mm -hmm. Some of them call themselves um, Benjamin. Some of them call themselves Levi. Levi. You know. <laughs> Some of them call themselves Yehudi or whatever. Yeah. But where are the other ten tribes? Exactly. According to Bible prophecy, where are the other ten tribes, man? And why is there so much war going on right now in the earth? Right. If Jacob, yeah, if they're supposed to be the Israelites ruling right now, okay? If they're supposed to be in power and they claim to be Jacob, well, it says according to Isaiah, the, Isaiah the second chapter and around the fourth verse about how there's not going to be any more war on the earth mm -hmm. when the real Israelites come into rulership, man. Mm -hmm. So who are these people that's ruling right now that have the, the whole earth in, how can I put it? That are basically destroyed the whole right. earth. Who are these people, and who have been who's been given that power to destroy the whole yeah, earth? Exactly. Out of Jacob and Esau, right? We understand that they were both blessed with that great blessing of having the earth, man. You know, and we understand, of course, Jacob he was the righteous out of the two. Yeah. So it has to be Esau that's ruling right now. Yep. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna go back to that. Yeah, that, no, no, yeah. that, that's true, man. You know, because here it is, Esau he he has. He has the power of the whole earth in his in his hand right yeah. now, man. Yeah. But what what he rather do? He rather uh bring bring wickedness upon the earth, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it says? Uh, show show favor onto the to yeah. the uh, wicked. You want to let me get that for you? Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter twenty six, verse ten. Right. It says, "Let favor be showed to the wicked." Yet will he not learn righteousness? Right. Let, sh let favor be shown unto the right uh, to the wicked, mm -hmm. but he shall not know righteousness, man, because yeah. it's not in Esau to do to do right. Yeah. You know, here it is. The Lord He gave uh, Esau right now the power 
to, 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 to basically, you know, uh, over over all all you know the whole earth, man itself. Yeah. Okay. He can he can you know he can execute the the, the righteous laws of Yahab Bashim Yahushai in the earth, but guess what? He's not. Yeah. And he can't because it's not in his uh, in his soul to do so. Yeah. You know. The spirit that's within him is not upright. It's not upright. Mm -hmm. You know. So the thing is, um, you know, the point is that you got you got a guy like um, vocab alone, man. You know. Hey, he's 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 basically, you know, he's a he's being an enemy. He's being an enemy. To to Yahab Bashim man, right. you know he's not he's not he's not you know he's not talking up against us. He's talking up against the Lord Himself, man. Okay, yeah. uh, Proverbs thirteen and thirteen, man. You know he he who despised the word, all right, of the Lord shall be destroyed, man. Yeah. You despise you despise the word of the Lord, man. You know because yeah. because it's not our words, man. It's, it's the Lord Yahab Bashim Yahushai's words. We're just a mouthpiece. Yep. That the oh. Lord is using, man, a vessel. Yeah. That's it. He despises the word and the men that the Lord is sending right. these last days. He's offended us. Yes. All right. By you coming up against Yahweh Shai or the, 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 the doctrine of Yahweh Bashmah oh, Shai, you're offending his men. And you're offend well, first and foremost, you're offending them, those two entities, Yahweh Yahweh Shai and their men. And there's a great judgment for that, man. The Lord said it would be better for you to be. Basically thrown into yeah. this into the <laughs> sea with an anchor around your neck, That's a great right. millstone around your neck, and right. drown. That's right. It would be better to actually go out that way, man. You know. That's right. It says, "Woe, woe unto the." Uh, it says, um, um, "Offenses." Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Matter of fact, I think it's in um, Matthew the seventeenth chapter. If I'm not mistaken. Check that out real right. quick. I think verse one. Matthew chapter 17 and verse 1. No, this is not it. Hold on. That's about 16. Hold on. Millstone. Yeah, well, basically, you know, um, for every idle word that men shall speak, man, they're they going to have to give a, a, a you know, account. account for in the day of judgment, man. And yeah. guys like Vocab Malone and, and any other. Scoffer that comes against the words of Yahab Bashim yeah, Shai, man. man, you 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 know you're gonna you're gonna receive that 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 judgment, which yeah. is ultimately gonna be a, a, a thermonuclear destruction, man. Yeah. The Lord might have it where you know he'll he'll he might keep your spirit alive right. uh, to go through that, to go yeah. through when you know as far as when those missiles are uh, are gonna be um, detonated. You know, here on this planet, yeah. on this on this land, yeah. you know, the Lord might have it where He preserved you, man, just to see that, you know. Yeah, and don't think that the Lord, that the Lord can't do that. Oh yeah. Right. It says in Psalm sixty-eight, verse twenty, about how the from the Lord belong the issues of death. death. That's right. You know, when you go into that word issues, it means the extremity. So you have Bashmah Shai is in control, man. He's in control of how you die. Just how excruciating of a way you, you can go out in this world. And you have to fear that power. That's a message to you know you Israelites out there. Oh yeah. You know, but yeah. Jay don't realize that. Yeah. Hey, what well, it says? Uh, uh, What's that grass or something? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It said. It says. Uh, Through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because. Right. <laughs> We see who what the Lord is capable of doing, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's why we say sometimes, hey, you know, it could be it could, hey, to the point where it's like you see in all this judgment taking place on the earth and you still trying to buck up yeah. against the Lord's anointed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you don't got no fear of y'all by shit, man. Yeah. That's, that's a, that, ain't, that ain't a light thing, man. That ain't a light thing for you to just come across the Lord's men, all right? We're the representative. We're the representation of Yahweh mm -hmm. Shem Yahusha on the earth, man. Right. You think the Lord is, is you know, he's he's pleased with with, with mm -hmm. what you're doing, man? The Lord's gonna execute swift judgment on you, man. Yeah. Hey, well, that's um Ecclesiastes because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Right. The how does it go? The the uh. 
I'm says, gonna, uh, have to get it. Yeah, get I'm gonna it. have to get it. I don't it. wanna butcher it. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Alright, this is a Ecclesiastes. I believe that's Ecclesiastes 8, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like 11th verse. Right. Bear with me one second. It's Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11. It says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil you know, just like Roca Malone right now you know because no judgment has fallen upon him mm -hmm. because he's getting away with so-called ridiculing the men of the Lord right whether it be the apostles of Great Millstone or any other men that's you know doing the will of Yahweh Bashmah Shai because he hasn't been judged by Yahweh Bashmah Shai he's just like you know what I can do whatever I want you know I can do whatever I want and nothing's gonna happen unto me but that's the furthest thing from the truth, man. The Lord, the Lord is long suffering. What did he say unto um, Nahum? Right. The wicked shall not all be acquitted, and that he's long suffering. So there's going to be a, a time when Volcam alone and all these other scoffers, the two third, they're going to get theirs, man. They're going to get theirs. Now let me go back to um, Matthew 18 because you, you know you call for this. This is Matthew 18 verse six. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones. Mm -hmm. Which, which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck. Yeah, you offend the, his little one. We're, we're the Lord's little ones, man. Right. All right? So it's, it's, it's better, it's better that, hey, that you, that you haven't even said anything. You should have never opened your mouth and murmured against the, the Lord's anointed, man. Uh. Okay? Because, hey, man, you just don't understand the... You're 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 just setting yourself up, man, yeah. to be just destroyed, man. And uh, like the brother was brought out, you know the, the the issues of death, the extremities that the Lord is gonna bring upon you, man. It's gonna be like no other, man. Yeah. Like you know, it's just it's it's a fearful thing to to fall into the hands of the living power, uh, man. Uh, you know, the Lord, is, man, the Lord, the Lord is gonna fuck you up, man. That's yeah. all I gotta say, man. You know, because you think this shit is a joke, man. You think this shit is a game, you know, private eye for your Howard Shy and all that bullshit, man. Hey, the Lord, the Lord's going to, hey, the Lord got you, man. The Lord got you, bro. You know, check uh, Matthew 17. What that say? You got a little bit more left on Yeah, let me finish this up. Right. Um, it says, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck Ooh. and that he would drown in the depth of the sea. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offense offenses oh, come. Oh, that's it. All yeah. right. All right. Yeah. So, hey, man. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, man. Yo, it's best you not even open your mouth, man. Yeah. All right. Because you just don't understand, man. That's why I said, man. It's not a light thing to joke around, man. With 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 this word. All right. This word. Is a very serious thing, man. It's a serious matter, especially when you're coming against the, the Lord's people, the Lord's uh, 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 men that He has set up through the Spirit, yeah. you know, and, and and thinking this shit is a joke, uh, a, a joke or a game, man. You know, the Lord's gonna do something uh, horrific to you, man. Yeah. You know, and then guess what? We're gonna sit back and laugh. Yep. We're gonna rejoice in that day, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Hey, the Lord could have it to where you know. There's a famine out here, and oh, yeah. Volcan Malone's whole family, Whew. including him, his wife, his children, they die to death by way of starvation. Right. You know, the Lord can do that, man. Of course. And that's what's coming to the earth, plagues and pestilences, in the form of famines, man. So, hey, man, you just, you know, you people, you people don't understand, man, you know, and... This this thing of ours, man, you know, is a is a it's a precious thing, yeah. you know, it's a precious thing, and it's not to be uh, taken you know, lightly. Taken lightly. If you could get um, real quick, um, Second Ezra eight, and you can start at uh, matter of fact, the point is at sixty two. Yeah, you can yeah go to eight and sixty two real quick. All right. Second Ezra. This is Second Ezra chapter eight and sixty two. It says, These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Right. So to know this truth, man, we're we're blessed. Mm -hmm. We're blessed, brothers. Alright? 
because the Lord said he, he only show a few men like us, like-minded men that's, you know, hopeful of the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we, we be those men, all right, that he showed his word onto us, man, yeah. not to the whole world, not to not to uh, 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 the masses, okay, but on to, to, to a remnant, man, Yeah. you know, and a few like us, man, because you got guys that they just can't get it, man. Yeah. They The Lord has blinded them, man, going back to Isaiah 6 and 9, man, yeah. you know, yeah. the Lord has blinded the world, all right, like I brought out in um, uh, Romans the 11th chapter, for you to have this knowledge, this great understanding of the, of the truth that the Lord has bestowed upon you, you know, you are considered blessed, yeah, you know, you, yeah. you are very much considered blessed, man, that's why you got these, these Christians, they just can't get it, man, and they, yeah. they, you know, they look at us like we're bugged out, all right? But at the end of the day, you're the ones that you don't know shit. Right. You don't have the understanding. Right. You know, you get mad at us. Like the scripture says, am I there for your enemy? Because I, I tell you the truth, man. Right, right, Listen, right. we we have the 100% truth. That's why it's like, at the end of the day, we don't have to uh, debate with you. Because yeah. it, 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 it's already, listen, it's all, whatever is, whatever is going to be, it's going to be, man. Yeah. You know, we ain't got to debate with you, with you uh, people out there. All right. But like I said before, that we're, you know, we're, 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 uh, we're true to this, man. We're true to this. And when it comes to this gospel, you know, we're defenders of the gospel, you know. But at the end of the day, man, we ain't got to debate with you people, okay. We say what we say and, you know, we know, we know the prophecies. We know what's happening in the earth today, yeah. you know. So we ain't got to be all trying to, um. Bend over backwards. Yeah, bend over backwards to, sh to show you, oh, to look, look, this is what it says in the script. Yeah. Listen, man, we done already been there, done that, man. Hey, all right? That's the spirit. Let me get this real quick. Calm this down. is um, Titus chapter 1 and verse 15. It says, unto the pure, all things are pure. And this uh. is the same pure that we read about in Daniel, the 12th chapter, mm -hmm. and around the 10th verse. Many shall be made Many shall be purified and made pure. That's Is right. that the elect of Israel? That's right. It says, Unto the pure, all things are pure. Mm -hmm. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, that don't have faith, is nothing pure. But even their mind and their conscience is defiled. Mm -hmm. And these ones that are defiled in the spirit, unpure, wicked, right, amongst our people, they're going to be destroyed, man. Yeah. As it says in 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter, all the unbelieving shall die in, no all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness man that's right and like the brother was speaking about those of us that have this this truth this belief we're, we're extremely blessed man extremely blessed extremely, extremely extremely blessed man hey the show man hey this word is going out man yeah all right because we was you know um we was uh in the chat you know brother set the the you know the uh video uh, this Jake woman, man, cursing out an Edom, Edomite, yeah, yeah. Edomite woman, right, yeah. on on the plane, and you know she was going in, and that was the spirit of the Lord that was upon her, right. like to really curse these Edomites out, man. Right, right. But to show you that, hey, man, this truth is out, man, yeah. and this truth is, is, is you'd be surprised how many people are really actually watching us, man. Yeah. You know, actually know brothers, see brothers, yeah. and 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 can acknowledge that this is the truth man yeah. all right just because you don't you know we don't have that many views and things like that but trust me this word is going out man and we we see it we see that you know it's power Behind in this it, yeah. in this gospel man yeah. unlike christianity with you know with, with, with it all love love everybody bullshit man right. all right right the lord ain't about loving all nations man having all nations come together you know so that's how we know that this is the truth, man. Mm -hmm. Now this is Isaiah 55, and that's the verse 10. It says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, and it and that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the water, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. 
You got it, bro. You know, and that's pretty much the time that we're living in right now, right? Where it's pleasing you how much man tried to do what to gather his elect back, the 144,000 servants and the remaining brothers and sisters out there that believe in this report. As it says in Isaiah, let me yeah. get this real quick. Who shall believe our report? Yep, this is Isaiah 53, verse 1. Who have believed our report? And who's going to believe the report of the prophets? Right? The report that's coming through, or I should say, from the throne of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, by way of the holy angels, the holy spirit, working on the, the, the men here on the earth. Yeah. Who's going to believe that report? Only the elect. That's right. We brought it out earlier. Romans 11, verse 7. Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for. But the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. They let that have that gift of what? The gift of faith to believe in this report. It says, who have, who have believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord Yahweh revealed? And who's that speaking about? The arm of the Lord Yahweh. It's speaking about our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, man. He's the arm that's, right, that's going to come back and gather his elect in these last days, man. Right. And destroy this wicked society that we're living in, man. You know, during what time? The time of World War Three. You know, when all hell gonna break loose in the society, but on a thermal nuclear level, by where those ICBMs, man, destroying America and different parts of the world, and two thirds of our people are gonna get caught up in that destruction because they haven't believed in this report. That's right. Zechariah 13 verse 8. That's right. Okay, it reads on to say, "For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground." He have no form, no comeliness. But this is going into our Lord, you know, when he came on the scene over 2,000 years ago. And when he, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, which is, you know, re very reminiscent of today. Of today. Yep. You know, our people, the majority of our people reject our gospel. Right. You know, they reject this truth. They reject Yahweh Shai. Yep. They reject his visage. When he told them that, look, our Lord is a so-called black man. Yep. The, major the majority of our people don't want to believe on that, man. Yep. They're that's good with that Caesar Borgia, yeah, that's yeah. Rappus Christus that's image, right. man. That's right. <laughs> They're stuck in that plantation Christianity yeah. bullshit. Yeah. And that's why, you know, hey, man, that's why a lot of a lot of our people, man, they, they got to be destroyed because of that, man. Uh -huh. you just, they just can't wake out of it. It just can't get out of that fucking image, man. Yeah. That yeah. image of, of, of a, a white, a so-called white man, you know, uh, uh, ruling, man, having right. having total dominion and, and power over all you so-called black and Hispanic and Native Americans, man. You just can't get over that, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Fucking listen, man. The Lord looks just like me and you, man. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. and that's the and that's the truth, man. That's the that's the true gospel, man. Yeah. You know, anybody else that's saying anything other than that, man. All right, because the, the scriptures speak on uh, uh, them. If you hear uh, them preaching another Jesus, man. Right, right, you know, right. And, and and that's and that's what that Christianity is about, man. That's yeah. another spirit, man. Literally. That's that's not the spirit of of, of the true gospel, man. Literally, you know. Literally. Anytime when somebody brings up, oh, you a Christian, the, 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 what what's on people's minds? The first thing is is, is a Cesare boy gym, man. That's yeah. the that's the first thing that's on these people's mind, man. When they pray, you ask a Christian who, who they pray to, you know, what's that image that they see? Right. All right. That they they they, they looking at a so called white man, man. Yeah. You know, that's the image, man. Yeah. And when you say, oh, uh, image, uh, it, I don't care if he's black or white. Listen, man, that's all bullshit, man. Yeah. All right? Because color color is, hey, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an issue in this society, man. Yeah. Everything that you, that you, that you uh, when, when, when people say, oh, well, race, race shouldn't matter. Yeah, right. So if it didn't matter, why would you put, depict the image of the Lord as being right. a so-called white right. man? Right, If, 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 uh, if, if, if uh, color didn't matter, man. Yeah. All right? It's all bullshit, man. So, yes, hey, everything matters, man. Yeah, everything matters. Everything man. matters for what sake? For the truth's sake. Truth's sake. sake. That's it's right. all about the truth. A moth, okay? This is John 4, verse 24. It says, The Most High is a spirit. And this is our Lord speaking here. Uh -huh. If you used to read this in the Bible and you had like a red letter Bible, you would see this in red, meaning our Lord, you have a guy, he's speaking personally. It says, Why well, read it verbatim? God is a spirit. So he's referring to his father here. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. 
So you have to know what the Lord actually looks like. Right. You need to know his true name. Right. Because he's true. The name of the Heavenly Father is a God. Mm -hmm. God is a Greek title. There's no letter J in the ancient Hebrew. So it's impossible for the for the Father's name to be Jehovah. And it's impossible for the Son's name to be Jesus. That's right. So what's their names? What does the name mean? What, is Jeho what does Jehovah <laughs> mean? Let's just go there. Yeah, what does yeah. the word or the name Jehovah mean? What does it mean, man? These are these are some of the questions that you Christians out there need to ask your pastors, right. man. You see? And that and that's hey, that's a beautiful point you made because the thing is you gotta go back, man. Yeah. Listen, if the letter J came about during the time of the late fifteen hundreds, then shit. What the hell, you know, what was the Lord's real name is, man? And the Lord spoke Hebrew, so he couldn't have a, a Greek name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like all these things you people fail to, to do your own research and to right. understand these right. things, man. Right. You know? You just you just go off of just whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or how the world feels, man. No, yeah. you gotta look things up, man. Yeah. You know? And that's what we do, man. We we search things out, man. We we do our research, we look into things, yeah. you know. It ain't us just talking out of our asses and just like whatever, you know. We we, we research, we you know what I'm saying? We look things up, man. Yeah, hey, that's why the Lord, you know, has compared our people into those two, you know, two of the, the most lowest animals in terms of intelligence. Uh -huh. You know, the ox and, and the ox, the donkey. Right. You know, but my people don't, they don't consider. Yeah, they, they don't, don't consider, they don't that's consider. right. They don't consider that you have a higher power, man. All the nations have their gods that they believe in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The heathen nations, which are which are no gods which at that, no gods, yeah. you know, but... We have the true power, the tree, the true God of of the Bible, man. Yeah. All right, it's for us, man. Yeah. You know, but but you got Jake. They wanna they wanna take on the philosophies of all these other heathen nations. heathen nation yeah. gods. You know what I'm saying? All right, and, and worship them, mm -hmm. and that's and that's the reason why the Lord got us in this predicament right now, man. Yeah. You know. And they don't consider the the servants, the prophets, man. That's right. The Lord's not gonna come down here on the earth. You know, in physical form and teach you and correct you, man. You're gonna set up men here on the earth that look like just that look just like you. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. you so-called Negroes and Tinos <laughs> and Native Americans, the Israelites. Yeah. And he's gonna send them forth to teach you all these scriptures, man. And that's where the mercy starts. Mm -hmm. As is written in Isaiah 14. The Lord will have mercy upon Jacob and he will yet choose Israel. Mm -hmm. Roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is showing his mercy through his servants, the prophets, to warn you and to teach you. Of this Bible, which is going to ultimately lead to what? It's going to ultimately, ultimately lead to your salvation. That's right. Um, Jeremiah three verse fifteen, right? He said that he shall give you pastors according to, according to mine. mine heart that shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, man. And Jake don't consider this. Yep. We go out there week in week out. You know we you know we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, just to teach you this word, man. Every week, and we're doing our own individual shows throughout the week. So that's why the Lord is going to be so justified in bringing this um, judgment upon Jake yep. when he brings it. And right now, we're, you know, as we've been bringing out week in, week out, that we're now in that time, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, where those pestilences, those plagues, they're, they're being shot forth yep. and they're not going to come back. Yeah, that's right. They're going to intensify. Yeah. The Lord the Lord's going to, he's not slack at his plagues. Man. The yeah. plagues are just coming from left to right, you know. Yeah. Hey, man. Lord's not slack concerning his promise. That's right, that's right. Um, let me see what I've got here. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians uh, verse 4. Yeah. We'll bring out a couple more precepts. And then we'll close out. Yeah. This is 2 Corinthians 4 verse 3. It says, But if our gospel, which that's kind of like what Isaiah said, uh -huh. you know, regarding our our report, yeah. you know, the report of Yahweh Bashmah Shai, it says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You know, lost in the world, lost in this darkness. Yeah. Isaiah, the 60th chapter, gross darkness, the people. Mm -hmm. And that's the state that the majority of our people are in right now. Mm -hmm. They're lost, they're bugged out in these different philosophies and these different religions, just these different way of living, primarily over here in Babylon, the great America. It says, if our gospel be hid, which it is hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom... The power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. Prove to you that 
that the Lord, he don't want all Israel to get it, man. Right. You know? Right. It's, it, it's, a, it's a remnant that the Lord only wants. That's why the Lord spoke in parables, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because the Lord could have made it plain, like, listen, this is what I, you know, this is what is going to happen. Yeah. You know, I'm going to destroy America. I'm going to only save a remnant of my people. Yeah. And the rest, I'm going to destroy it. You know, he could just make it plain, man. You know? And what and that's what we're doing. That's we're what making that's, it, we're I was making, about to say that, yeah, bro. We're, we're making it plain <laughs> on to you. Yeah, that's man. what we're doing. You know? The, like the scriptures tell you in Habakkuk the second uh the second chapter that we're making plain upon tables. That's go. that's exactly what we're doing, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We're not we're, you know, but the Lord had it where, you know, he he didn't want all of Israel to receive right. his truth, right? You know? And hey man, if you just can't get it, you just can't get it, man. Yeah, man. That's you, just, you just have to face the judgment. That's the, it. The judgment that's that's written. Yep. For um, the, the undesirables of our people, the ones that's not a part of the elect. Right. Again, going back to what Zechariah 13, verse 8, right. two parts of them shall be cut off and die. Mm -hmm. um, you've got Amos chapter 9, verse 10, right. all the sinners of my people shall die, shall by, the die sword. by the sword. That's right. That's you know, right. you've got Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Yep. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. That's right. And that's pretty much the judgment that's going to happen upon those of you that haven't been gifted with this gift of faith. That don't believe our report, man. Which is not even our report. It's really the report of who you able to call God and Jesus Christ. You know, and we're here to teach you of this report, man, and break it down for you as plain as day. You know, but again, only the elect are going to receive it. It reads on to say, um, verse five: For we preach not of ourselves, but Hamashiach the Anointed, Yahushai the Lord, and our and ourselves, your servants. For Yahweh Shai's sake. And first and foremost, who did Yahweh Shai die on the cross for, man? Right. That's another question that you so called Christians don't understand. You know, going to, uh, what's that? Going into two scriptures that come to mind when we think about that. You got John 3, verse 16. You know, for, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And then you got Matthew 1, verse 21, too. You know, um, he shall save his people from their sins. And these are very basic scriptures that, you know, a lot of our people that's in Christianity, they don't understand, man. That who they even call Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shai, actually died for their sins, man. And no one else's. But again, you know, our people don't consider these things, man. Even though it's made plain unto them. Yep. It says, and we're going to close out soon, the last scripture here. Well, let's close out with this scripture where we started off in Acts. Let's Let's close out with Acts oh, you didn't 5. Finish it? No, we didn't finish that. Oh, Let's right. close out with Acts 5, verse 38. It says, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Right, it will come to naught, man. All right? But you see, it's all ordained by the Heavenly Father in the right. sense, man. Right. You know? That's why you got fruits all over the world. The, 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 the fruits of. of uh, the apostles, right? Okay, men speaking this same gospel that yeah. you can see in Japan, in Australia, yeah. in the Philippines, in mm -hmm. uh, Italy. Yeah. All right, this this word is being preached through the four corners of the earth worldwide, man. Yeah. All right, so we know that nothing that vocab alone or all the these other Christians, okay, that try to debunk the, this truth, they can't do nothing against this, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You, they, they, they can't do nothing, man. You yeah. know? And, and that's why they're mad. That's why they're mad. That's why they see, you know, more and more. And, 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 and you know, what the apostle uh, Tahar said, man, you know, basically he has that platform to bring in more fruit. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, Vocab Malone, what he's doing is basically... You know he's 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 basically getting uh, people to watch his videos right. and know learn more about what's the you know what's this Hebrew Israelite thing about right. and and want to do their own research. Right. That's all he's doing, man. Yeah. You know he's 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 basically using his platform to bring uh, uh, potential elect members into the into the faith, man. Yeah. You know. And if it's not that, you see what's happening. Like the brother said, he's either doing that or. You got, you're going to have Israelites out there that are going to mark themselves by scoffing yeah. against this work. Okay. Such as, you know, he's got his cohorts, John McRae, I believe, and this other guy called um, uh, Adam Coleman. 
All right? Those are two jigs that's, you know, hand in hand with the Wicked. The Wicked being Volcom alone in that case. You know, they're joined hand in hand with Volcom alone. And they're coming up against this truth. And they're going to pay for that, man. Yeah. They're going to pay mightily for coming up against the word of Yahweh Barshmei Ashai. So they condemned themselves by joining hand in hand with Volcom alone, trying to bring down what we're building. You know, yeah. and what we're building is what? The third temple, and we're building the, the tabernacle of David, man. That's right. You know, Yahweh Barshmei takes that very seriously. That's right. It says this here, last verse, mm -hmm. verse 39. But if, the most, but if it be of the Most High, Ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily ye be found even to fight against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right, you can't fight against the Lord, man. You know, what's the saying in the world? Uh, your, arm's head, too, your arm's too short to box with God. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, you cannot, man. Yeah. You cannot come against the counsel of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Uh. You know, this thing was written, okay, from the beginning of time, from, you know, he, he he basically declared the end from the beginning. From the beginning, man. Mm -hmm. So, guess what? Everybody set up in their lot to do what they do. You got you gonna have scoffers. They mm -hmm. set up in their lot to scoff at the at the word. Yeah. You know, and you are gonna have the righteous men of the Lord. You know, proclaiming the truth. Yeah. So you know everybody's coming back and and and, and playing out their, their you know their uh because we always refer to this truth as being. You know, a movie. Yeah. All right. This yeah. is the movie of, of Yahweh Bashim We okay. got you got certain characters, man. You got the, you know, you got the righteous and you got the enemies. You got you know the villain. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, you know, hey man, we gonna do what we do, which is to push this word. All right. Mm -hmm. Till we can't push it no more. Yeah. All right. And that's and and people don't understand, man. Once you don't see the prophets, once you don't see brothers out there teaching this word, and this and you know the YouTube is that's shut what down. Is the it's going to be a problem. That's when the Lord's going to set everything where he's going to bring the plagues. He's going yeah. to bring, you know, uh, that's when he's going to let loose, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's going to let loose on this society. So, yeah. you know, you keep, you you know, you got these scoffers, man. Let them keep scoffing. Yeah. Let them keep talking their shit, man. All right. Because when we, when the Lord draws back, all right, he takes his prophets, his men off the street. Then that, that's your ass, man. Yeah. You know, simple as that. That's when the elect is completely sealed. Yep. No, that's yep. Uh, Revelation, the seventh chapter. Right. Hold back the winds until we have sealed the servants of our power, Yahweh Bashma in right. their foreheads. Right. Right. Sealing them with what? The exemption of judgment. That's right. You know, Ezekiel 9, verse 4. Mm -hmm. But we're going to close out. You know, Lord willing, you brothers out there were edified through the Spirit. All praise, honors, and glory. To Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles, double honors to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and shalom to the elect. Hey, shalom.